Custom report types enable you to create reports that go beyond the standard Salesforce provided ones. You can think of a Salesforce report type as a template or framework that tells Salesforce which objects and relationships to consider and therefore which fields to make available for selection in the report builder. Just like a magnifying glass on your whole Salesforce data model. In this video, we'll zoom into how you can create a custom report type add fields from either the same object or related ones, and create sections to group your fields all within the new setup page, generally available starting with the Spring 25 Salesforce release. If you have already worked in Salesforce Service Cloud, for example, chances are that you already noticed that for the custom objects and relationships you create, Salesforce will automatically generate report types to get you started but this will still be deemed standard. This means that you will not have the option to pick and choose the available sections or fields. While the out-of-the-box options are great to begin with, the reality of business requirements and org-specific complexities will sooner or later bring up the need for reports to include fields which are not already available, or even display data from objects further apart than the initial one. This is where custom report types come in. Speaking about the plethora of possible business requirements, what you can do in Salesforce doesn't stop at custom report types. The world beyond native applications and solutions is vast, but as an admin, you're going to want to deliver the best of Salesforce's features all the time, and now you can with Salesforce Foundations. Salesforce Foundations gives you access to more of Salesforce, and it's now easier than ever as you can get started with the connected customer 360 by building foundational apps into your CRM at no additional cost. Yes, that's right, for free. Get access to sales deal management, service case resolution tools, marketing email campaigns, commerce storefront, and more with this free add-on today. And if you want more info or need more convincing, check out the demo at salesforceband.com foundations, which you'll find in the description below. In order to make use of the new custom report types experience, you will have to enable it in the reports and dashboard settings, where a new enhanced custom report type setup page box will be available for selection if you haven't already checked it. After saving the settings, the first thing you will most likely notice when navigating to the report types page is that report types also support list views now making it easy to organize and review them. By clicking on the new custom report type button, you will be redirected to the new creation wizard, which now has the lightning experience look and feel across the board. You will still have to enter the same information in the form of choosing a primary object, adding a name and description, as well as if the custom report type is in development or ready to use. The focus will be on selecting one or more related objects and determining their relationship. In this example, I chose the account as the primary object and will select case as the related one. For the relationship, I would like the reports to capture accounts which may or may not have related cases and the selection here will reflect that. Once the report type is saved, you could just use it like this, but as mentioned earlier, the main reason for using this functionality is to choose and organize the fields exactly as you need. To achieve this, let's edit the layout. If you created custom report types before, you're surely going to enjoy this new experience. If not for the refreshed look, definitely for the search functionality, and much more intuitive process you will follow when adding or editing the fields and sections. From the left side panel, you can choose to only display available fields or search through all of them, as well as filtering them based on their field type. Once you selected the field you need, 
you can simply drag and drop it in one of the sections. You can also easily use the pen icon to quickly change the display name or mark the field as a default column, which will be automatically added to the reports that are created. When looking at the sections, notice that you can remove any of them as needed, rename them, or even use the arrow to sort the fields in the section. Both accounts and cases are some of the most used objects in the Salesforce implementations, and that does mean that there will be additional fields which we may need information from in reporting to paint the full picture. Let's take the case owner, for example. In order to retrieve additional details about the case owner, you will have to use the plus lookup fields button. You will have to choose the object that the fields will be related to. In this case, it will be cases. All relationship fields will be presented for you to click into and simply select the fields you need. From the case owner, we will be selecting the following fields. Active, email, owner ID, and title. These fields will be added into a new dedicated section. If you would like the field name to be a bit more clear for the colleagues running reports, feel free to change the display as for any of the fields you just added. Once ready, the only things left to do are to save the changes, preview the layout, and then simply start creating the reports you need. Creating and managing custom report types is now easier than ever before with a long overdue refreshed experience improving the way Salesforce admins make use of this functionality. Whether you're looking at adding or renaming fields, tapping into information from related records, or simply defaulting columns which should be automatically added in reports you and your users create, make sure to give this new setup page a go as soon as Spring 25 hits your org to try the changes out yourself.